officers arrested Gadsden, who initially claimed that she'd had nothing to do with the crime during... Now that's Cap. Like, you basically set this man up to get murdered. Like, the evidence, the evidence is concrete. What's happening, people? It's your boy Blaze here, back at you with another one for Venomous Reactions. And something told me to go ahead and browse for this, just, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> with Tinder dates going wrong. Whew. Another online dating story go completely left. Now, I never indulged in Tinder, nor do I want to. So... <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard stories i've heard stories and we're gonna see how these stories here with tinder dates go wrong uh, should be intriguing so without further ado let's check it out number nine lauren maroon dooley on september the 28th of 2022 lauren what the maroon hell Dooley tortured a 21 year old man she'd met on tinder after restraining him with duct tape in her Colorado apartment. The victim's name was redacted from the affidavit released to the public in order to preserve his privacy. He indicated that he and 22-year-old Dooley had been intimate with one another in the moments before she tied him up to her bed. He reluctantly consented, but the situation quickly escalated to violence. Once he... Um, this just took me by surprise um i mean i mean you could tell by the title when tinder dates go wrong i i admittedly i automatically thought to myself like maybe they get catfished or maybe uh maybe they had a bad time but uh yeah a woman tapes up a man and pretty much they pretty much give her give him the slasher treatment Let me shut up. He was restrained. Dooley began slashing him with a knife and choked him when he protested. Following the assault, she reportedly ordered food, threatening to kill her victim if he attempted to alert the delivery driver. After Dooley fell asleep, the man managed wow. to get free from his restraints and fled the apartment fully naked. His captor chased after him and... Man, anything you have to do to survive, man, I don't... I will not care if it's like below zero degrees out there. Like if if I'm in fear for my life, uh I'm I'm getting the hell out of there as fast as possible to anywhere to any place where I would feel safe at to call the police. I'm sorry. Man, this shit's crazy. Concerned neighbors called 911. When the police arrived at the scene, they discovered bloody rags and sheets as well as the knife she'd used during the attack. The victim was taken to the hospital and treated for his non-life-threatening injuries, while Dooley was taken into custody and charged with second-degree kidnapping and assault. Number eight. Apparently Sherry so. Gadsden, a 21-year-old South Carolina resident, participated in the murder of Alan Philpian Johnson III following a robbery gone wrong on January the 9th of 2022. As Sherry Gadsden had initially met the 24-year-old victim on Tinder, she formulated a plot to trick the young man into allowing her into his house, along with her accomplices, wow. Joshua Latre Mack, aged 28, and Zora Simone Henderson, aged 19. The ill-intentioned trio eventually killed the homeowner, after which a heavily intoxicated Gadsden contacted the police and waited for them in the driveway. She led them into the victim's apartment, where officers came upon Johnson's lifeless body. An autopsy would later reveal that he'd been shot four times during the home invasion. Officers arrested Gadsden, who initially claimed that she'd had nothing to do with the crime during... Now that's Cap. Like, you basically set this man up to get murdered. Like, the evidence, the evidence is concrete. Oh, man, this is why... 
online dating is getting more dangerous by <laughs> by the day, by the hour, by the minute, whatever. Like, <laughs> like you have to go back to the old school way of like uh, dating. Uh, you see someone in person, and uh, y'all get to chat it up. <laughs> Y'all exchange numbers and maybe set up a potential date, maybe somewhere out in the open, no no Netflix to chill, no nothing. Let's just go out, go out, have a drink, have something to eat, something. Whoo! Uh, I pray for the people on Tinder. Woo! Questioning, she told detectives that she'd heard a gunshot while in the bathroom and rushed into the living room to discover her date lying unresponsive on the ground. However, detectives discovered of course. deleted messages in the suspect's cell phone that implicated her involvement. Gadsden finally confessed to plotting the robbery but claimed that Mac had been the one to shoot Johnson after the latter had attempted to disarm him. Number 7. That's Luis crazy. Segundo Almanza, Aranana, Mornin Martinez and Sierra Petit. In September of 2021, an unidentified man was held hostage for several hours by Luis Savondo Almanza, Aranana Mornin Martinez, and Sierra Petit following an ill-fated Tinder date. The trio, aged between 19 and 26 at the time, invited the victim to a house party in Oklahoma City. After he asked to be... You can't even go to house parties anymore. <laughs> you can't even go to house parties and have a vibe, enjoy yourself. Oh man, you gotta watch people on, online nowadays, whether it's Tinder or any, any of these social media websites, because what, what they seem on social media, vastly different from when they are in person. Like, you don't see no sign of them being crazy, deranged, stay woke. Paid back for the drinks he purchased for the group. Tensions escalated and violence ensued. Almanza, Martinez, and Petit held the man captive, threatening him with a 12-gauge shotgun and a knife. He was forced Ooh. into a car and the suspects drove him to several stores, using his bank cards to purchase various items, including clothes. They also allegedly destroyed the man's phone in order to keep him from calling for help. Before <laughs> eventually releasing him, the three suspects threatened to harm him and his family. If he contacted the authorities, the victim decided to report the incident nonetheless. The police subsequently huh. arrested Almanza, Martinez, and Petit on charges of kidnapping and aggravated robbery. Number six. Rightfully so. Mika Ort. Mika Ort, a 21-year-old woman attending university in the Netherlands, was murdered by a Tinder date turned stalker on March the 8th of 2022. Ort was born to a Dutch father had traveled from Massachusetts to Leerwarden in 2020 in order to pursue her studies. She went mm. on several dates with a 27 year old man identified only as Thomas R whom she'd met on the dating app before eventually deciding to rekindle her relationship with ex-boyfriend Michael van der Waal refusing to accept. Hold on. Did I read that right? Jealous Tinder date allegedly killed victim after putting tracking device on her bike. And there it is. The crazy, deranged, turnstalker. Uh, yeah. This is where red flags come in. Like, uh, you see any, uh, out of the, out of the ordinary behavior uh, started to assume, uh, run, 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 run. Ex-boyfriend, Michael Van Der Waal, refusing to accept the young woman's rejection, Thomas tracked her down, placed a GPS device on her bike, and broke into her apartment. He proceeded to fatally stab Ort, also wounding two other men who were at the house at the time of the attack. Thomas fled the scene in the aftermath, but was later turned into the authorities by his parents. Number five. Obviously. Jordan Cobalt. Oh, get these ads out of here. Get him, get him up out of here. Jordan Cobalt 
A 21-year-old resident of Suffolk, England, trashed Alicia Moy's apartment after she ended their tin. Hold up. My Tinder date broke into my home and filled my shoes with spaghetti. It's one thing to break into someone's home, but to fill their shoes with spaghetti? What does that? What does that do? I mean, were you... This person had to be bored out of their damn mind to do some something so idiotic. <laughs> These stories, bro. They get weirder and weirder by the day. In the romance on April the 9th of 2021, the couple had been dating for a month when Moy, aged 20 at the time, decided that they weren't a good match. Cobalt became irate and took the young woman's spear key in retaliation. Moy explained the breakup by expressing her belief that he'd grown too intense and needy. After she ended their relationship over text message, Cobalt blocked her number and waited until she left for work to enter her apartment. The yeah, basically, uh, he didn't take the rejection well, and basically, she broke up with him via text. I was honestly that was sin anyone over the edge. Like you didn't have the courage to break up with the person, break up with the person in their face. You break up with them over text. Yeah, that could that could trigger some uh crazy deranged behavior. Gaunt lover poured beans and spaghetti into her shoes, painted the walls with condiments and covered the vacuum cleaner with cooking sauce. Cobbold also severed cables on each of Moy's kitchen appliances, turned off the refrigerator's power and threw cooking oil on the floor. The young man was arrested after his ex contacted the authorities about his infantile actions. In January of 2022, he accepted a plea deal in connection to charges of criminal damage and burglary. Cobbold was consequently ordered to serve 180 hours of community service, as well as two years of probation. He was also forced to pay his victim $1,750 in restitution and was forbidden from making any form of contact with Moy for five years. Yikes. Number four, Levante Stuckey. On July the 9th of 2022, Levante Stuckey attempted to assault his Tinder date, holding her at gunpoint in the garage of a Las Vegas hotel. The woman whose identity wasn't made public Sin City. To a Why am Stuckey I not surprised? Got into his car, at which point he locked the doors and allegedly became violent. The man forced his victim into the back seat, demanding she perform intimate acts while threatening her with a firearm. During the course of the altercation, the woman somehow managed to use her phone to contact a friend who helped her escape from the assailant's vehicle. Stucky then sped away from the scene, hitting two other cars in the process. The two women contacted the authorities, providing them with Stucky's uh, license plate number, which people, eventually bro. led to his arrest. He was charged with kidnapping and his bail was set at $10,000. Number three. People is crazy, Wayne. bro. Kentucky teen Sierra Wayman set up a meeting with Covington resident Peyton Browning over Tinder, secretly plotting to extort money from him. On September the 8th of 2020, Wayman invited Browning over to her house. Minutes after he arrived, two strangers knocked on the door. One of them was later identified as 19-year-old Philip Snyder. He looked crazy and deranged. Wasn't identified to the public. They attempted to assault Browning, who was carrying a weapon and shot at his attackers in self-defense. Police subsequently arrived at the scene Ooh. after having been contacted by Brown. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to watch uh, who you attack, because uh, uh, most most of these uh, most of these victims, uh, supposed victims, uh, <laughs> they will act in self-defense and they will shoot and kill in order to uh, in order to be safe, be safe enough to report. To the police now granted the fact they may have to admit to themselves as shooting at the uh shooting at the attackers but again it's in self-defense so what can you do brown in himself and the two assailants were taken to the er with non-fatal gunshot wounds 19 year old wayman was taken they to the fuck the jail on robbery charges a bond was set at five thousand dollars by the judge Residing over her case. Mm. Uh, 
I know you're tired of the airs. I am Joshua too. Joshua Hamblett, Sashwana Wilkins, and Keegan Profet in 2019. Oh, shit. 23-year-olds, Joshua Hamblett, and Sashwana Wilkins, along with... Hold on. Trio charged for allegedly using Tinder to recruit women, force them into sex work. Okay, so Tinder is the place to be to uh, recruit uh, women to uh, work the street. And yet, Tinder is still up and popping. What does that tell you? With 19-year-old Keegan Profet were arrested in Ontario, Canada. <laughs> After attempting to trap a woman, Ooh, they met. That makes it even worse. The woman who chose to they across the border. The police that she agreed to meet one of the suspects in a hotel room, but the man became violent once they were alone. It suspected that Profet was the individual in charge of making initial contact with the victim. Although his I can see why. Arrived at the hotel room shortly thereafter. After taking lewd pictures of the woman and uploading them online, the trio offered her services on the ad list in sight, Leo List. Hamlet, Wilkins, wow. and Profet pressured her into performing escort services by threatening her family if she refused. They also confiscated the money she received during her appointments. The two 23-year-olds were arrested on December the 1st of 2019 while of course. managed to elude capture until the 18th. They were each charged with over a dozen combined offenses, including assault, making threats, and human trafficking. Police suspected the group of targeting other women with similar schemes and urged any of their past victims to come forward. Number hmm. one, Jose Sandoval Juarez. What makes this Crystal number one? Halsey. Jose Sandoval Juarez, 32, and Crystal Halsey, 33, were accused of catfishing a man on Tinder in. Yeah, those two spell crazy, deranged, to the core. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Order to carry out a robbery on September the 17th of 2022, when the unnamed victim showed up for a date with a woman he knew only as Sonia at a hotel room in Phoenix, Arizona. The two suspects allegedly held him at gunpoint, demanding his cell phone and bank account information. The man was then forced Whoa. to drive his assailants to a nearby bank where he withdrew $900 from his account. Quarquez and Halsey subsequently took off on their own and managed to withdraw $3,000 more before the bank cards were reported stolen and deactivated. Detectives Damn. assigned to the case discovered All that, that money, booked bro. the hotel room using their real names, leading to their arrest on September the 28th. The suspects led police on a high-speed chase through several cities driving on the wrong side of the road and attempted to carjack another vehicle. Before finally being apprehended, they were indicted for assault and armed robbery with a deadly weapon as well as several other charges as they awaited the continuation of their case's legal proceedings. Thanks all, for watching. All those crimes, Would you rather bro. never be allowed to play any games on your phone again or never be allowed to use a dating app. Let it, it would be the dating app because dating online is getting dangerous by the hour. Like, bro, you can't even go out and be safe and enjoy company <laughs> like the old days, bro. Like, this is why people say beware of who you talk to online because they either try and they even try to get something out of you or scam you out of your hard earned money. Hard earned, hard earned dinero. Like I keep, I keep on getting stuck by that. I don't know why, but but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like beware of who you talk to online, cause yeah, they may come off as you know real chill and and you know any type of any time any type of any type of false positive energy they try to exhibit that and draw you in don't get drawn in stay woke <laughs> for real but yo let me know what y'all think about this one man and as always thank y'all for tuning in hopefully y'all enjoyed this one and don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe Come kick it with your boy. Just one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share and follow your boy on social media right over yonder.
This is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck the Deuce. And I will see y'all in the next video.